This is a special session for those who are doing great things right now and wondering what to do next. My friend, the only answer I have for you today is don't be afraid to actually 10x your life, all right? You don't want to miss this message. Please stay tuned. Grab yourself some comfort food, your notepad, pen, and pencil, my friend. Sit back and relax. Relax. Welcome to Mountain of Inspiration. My name is Dimitri. I am the gentleman who is simply on fire about seeing you jet propelled to your next level or dimension as far as your journey to health, wealth, or spirituality is concerned. I am based in Canada, more specifically in the city known as Toronto. So if you have ever, 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 ever looking for me, now you know how and where to find me. All right, let's get started. May the 8th, 1753, somewhere in Mexico, was actually born a young man who came to be known as Miguel, Miguel Hidalgo. Miguel Hidalgo was actually the second child to a very loving family somewhere in Mexico. And as he was growing up, he said to himself, he received the call to actually go serve God, actually be a priest within the community. And that's exactly what he started doing. Because around 1773, he actually graduated basically from this school in uh, theology and philosophy. So he was well on track to actually becoming a priest, and which exactly what happened to him five years later in 1778 so from 1778 all the way to 1803 he basically has to play second fiddle to his brother because he was a priest but without a parish because his brother was the first in life to be uh to be the local priest so he was just minding his own business just doing some local stuff and seeing himself as almost a nobody 1803 comes, his brother is deceased, unfortunately, God bless his soul, and now he has to step in actually filling the, the, the gap as far as that job was concerned. He becomes a priest in 1803. So from 1803 to 1810, in this place known as Dolores, he's starting seeing things that basically did not line up with the things he had studied as a, uh, as a high school student and as a philosopher and as a man looking for theology that they did not lap and lap as, as far as what he was seeing in terms of social justice. So he started paying attention and eventually he got to a place where where sometime in September 1810, he finally spoke up and says, No, enough is enough. These people of Mexico, all these Metisas and all these uh, all these natives, they deserve a much better life than what we are actually giving them through the Spanish and the French government that were trying to actually compete for attention and resources in Mexico. He says, Enough is enough. That was bad in Dolores. So, guess what happened? As soon as he spoke, people actually heard his call, and because he was a passionate speaker, People simply say, my God, we've been waiting for your vote to show up. Thank God you finally showed up. And they say, ask him, what shall we do next? Action started taking place. Momentum started being gained. And they started walking, but slowly, through to, towards Mexico City because all the people were basically in agreement that they had to actually march towards the capital and all the servants basically the Metisas and the natives basically they started actually getting together and actually one after another toppling all the local places of actually a French and Spanish power and going towards the capital but as soon as they reached the capital Father Padre, uh, Padre Miguel Hidalgo simply says no I'm going to walk on somehow I believe this thing is too much for me and that's where basically he stopped until he got captured in 1811 and actually finally got uh, executed by all the colonial powers. So, but why am I talking about this guy? Because as far as his life is concerned, he paints a very beautiful picture as far as the, we, the, the, the superpowers within all of us. We are more powerful than we believe. We are more powerful than you can possibly believe. You have more superpowers lying dormant within you than you can, super, you can possibly imagine. But the thing is, when you start actually walking, you finally get the job, you finally get the gig, you finally get the audience that basically are looking for what you have to offer. Eventually, we come to a place where we start second guessing ourselves, we start by saying, my goodness, I believe this thing is too much for me, let me just scale back, let me just actually uh, cut down on the things I'm actually putting on the table because I don't believe I deserve X, Y, Z. My friend, if that's the case for you, my only advice to you is keep doing whatever you've been doing so far. Don't try to actually look for complicated solutions or formulas. The only formula for, self, for greater success to 10 in your life, to 10 your business, and to 10 your influence is keep doing whatever is actually gotten you so far. Keep doing that because your greater success is going to come through that. Eventually, of course, you're going to get to a place where you're going to have to put a structure around what you are doing. But until then, you have to keep doing what you're doing so far. So don't stop what you're doing right now. Keep showing up with more audacity, with more conviction, and with more boldness because you know what? That's how you're going to guarantee your own ability to 10x your life in this very 
this season, all right? So keep showing up with more intensity because that's what the world deserves. And exactly that's what the world needed to see from Padre Hidalgo. Padre Hidalgo had to walk toward the capital and take over. And guess what? He would have given Mexico a totally different figure back in 1810. But because he got scared, he got stopped because he was that what he stopped by his own, own insecurities. That's where the movement actually stopped as far as his life is concerned. Don't be the next Padre Hidalgo in your own life. Be the version of Padre Hidalgo and then to be come back in 1810 to simply take within your hands the power to keep doing what you're doing right now and to keep showing up and not be afraid to turn next your life and live your life in the next dimension as you so deserve. Alright? Let me stop it for now. Have yourself a powerful day. The best is yet to come. This was Dimitri from Toronto all the way from Canada. Much love to you. So looking forward to sharing more with you. Until then, take good care. I'm out. Thank you.